What's up, people of the internet? Thought I'd do a little video on my match with Derek Smith, since he was so good and did one. Uh, talk about Eric Spato and talk about just this general campaign that I'm doing right now across the USA. It was great to arm wrestle Derek. I have been a fan of Derek Smith for a long time. Uh, I've noticed that every time I arm wrestle him, He's better, uh, more than I would expect him to be better. Uh, I think he's a smart young arm wrestler, and the last couple times I've arm wrestled him, it's gotten to a point where I was like, okay, he's getting really good. And what that means is, um, like, there's arm wrestling, there's practice arm wrestling, and then people get to a point where you, like, can't practice arm wrestle them that well anymore and basically uh, i feel like i've never been able to really practice well with really really high level people just it's just uh because there's so much in the game uh at that level with you know just the way you approach the table and there's so much in the way that you get your grip it's it's such a big part of the game that it's very hard for high level people just to kind of come together and, and 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 grip up if if they're if there's not a a, a wide strength gap between them. Um, anyways, so Derek, I noticed the last couple times that I've pulled him, I'm like I'm starting to have to use things and practice that uh, you know are kind of on the the verge of uh, you know competitive arm wrestling. So. Um, so I really wanted to see exactly where he's at. Uh, I, th I still think that Derek has a ton of potential after arm wrestling him. Um, I think I'd like to see him, I'd like to see him arm wrestle. Mm, well, I haven't thought about that, but uh, I, I don't think he can beat Matt. I don't think he can. Uh, I, I don't know if I can beat Matt right now, actually. But <laughs> anyways, it was great to arm wrestle Derek. Moving on. Eric Spado. Oh, my Lord. Here's what you guys need to know about Eric. Eric really cares about arm wrestling right now. And that's what's really scary. I've known Eric quite a long time. Uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a ridiculous Eric Spato fan. I think that he's in like the 0. 0.000 whatever uh, percent of the population. Like he, to me, he's up there with Dennis and guys like that in terms of strength. Like he's just so far off the charts. Um, and he's arm wrestled for a very long time. He's arm wrestled since he was a kid. And anybody who's passed through Vegas or or pulled with Eric knows that he's been on this level for a very long time. I feel like as, as long as I've known Eric, I've always said he can show up at any time and just be in the top five in North America. I still believe that. Uh, I, I, I don't think that there's many people that can hang with Eric. Uh, I'm still feeling the matches today. Uh, it's so crazy. I, I love I love training with Eric. Eric's uh, probably one of my very favorite people in the world to train with. His strength is just completely completely ridiculous. Um, and like I say, he is taking it seriously. So I'm really looking forward to watching him actually pull some people and get that competitive, you know, climb going and see where he ends up. Scary. Uh, last, uh, talk really quick about, uh, arm bet and the, the kind of push that I'm doing right now across the USA. I'm having a blast. Arm bet now is at 11.1, uh, thousand active users and it's, it's everywhere. And, you know, when, when you think about the past and what we've done with the sport and, you know, you can do a lot of different things, uh, find a lot of different ways to enjoy the sport of arm wrestling, and you can find a lot of ways to have it enrich your life. 
you can set goals, you can try and be this, you can try and be that, you can try and win this event, win that event. Um, and so much of it, I think, comes back to, is it enriching your life? Is it making you happy? And uh, I mean, what I'm doing right now is kind of like a campaign. So a campaign can be as long as you want it to be. I think mine's not gonna be too long this first time. Uh, you know, I think I'll probably bounce around the states for probably, uh, you know, two, two and a half weeks maybe, uh, maybe. I don't know if I can last that long, we'll see. But uh, you can just travel. You can travel and you can hit up the local community and you can get in touch and you can, you can arm wrestle. Uh, we got challenge features on the app now. Anyways, uh, I hope that it just unlocks the ability to have more fun in the sport of arm wrestling. Uh, I want to continue to travel and just, uh, just challenge people as I go. Because the way I see it, it's very hard to bank on anything. People tell me, you know, we got an event in a month, two months, three months. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And yeah, I'm all for it. But I just feel like the world is so, uh, you know, turbulent right now that I feel like I see three days in front of me. And, you know, that's cool. I like that. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm shifting to right now is just getting as much fun in, getting as much as much action as, as I can before I have to go home. So if you're in Tampa, there's uh, gonna be a big practice on Tuesday, uh, seven o'clock. I'll be on precise mode at that time on the app, but uh, I, I don't wanna say who it's with, but if you're in Tampa, start digging. Start digging and you'll find, you'll find uh, who's holding it. Hope y'all are having a good night. It's uh, good times in the USA.